Travis Kulse was showered with confetti, as the crowd's clamor barely died down. The MVP was Kansas City Chiefs tight end Kelse, who had just led his team to an exciting Super Bowl triumph. Cameras flashed and euphoria erupted as Kelse reached for the microphone to begin his post-game interview. However, Kelse's face lit up with a naughty grin, rather than his customary victory speech. His gaze swept throughout the stands, finally settling on a particular VIP box. His girlfriend Taylor Swift was standing there among her adoring fans, her blonde hair glinting in the stadium lights. Millions of people were enthralled as they witnessed Kelse slugging the mic. Taylor, this one's for you. You truly are my heart's MVP. He knelt down and withdrew a velvet box. The stadium let out a collective gasp. Was that? Taylor's eyes filled with tears. This was not intended. They had discussed maintaining their connection as a secret to avoid the scrutiny of the media at all times. The immensity of the situation threatened to swamp her. But here she was, propelled onto the global stage. Her boxmates cheered her on, some shrieking, some crying happily themselves. Still, Taylor didn't budge. Everybody in the globe held their breath. At last, she let out a choking cry. The unexpected act stunned her causing her to cover her face with her hands. Her face displayed honest emotion as the cameras focused in close. Was the answer to that yes? A rejection? The world wide web crashed. Kelsey's smile wavered as he returned to the field. Had he gotten the whole story wrong? He stumbled to his feet, sincere concern taking the place of the teasing gleam. Taylor, he yelled, his voice full with anxiety. I just wanted you to know how much you mean to me. That's it. Taylor's face lit up with understanding. She felt a wave of warm, familiar relief. This was a proclamation of love, given in the most magnificently Kels-like manner imaginable, even though it wasn't a proposal. Her tears were broken by a weak smile. She wrote a note on her white handbag after stealing a marker from a security guard nearby. She raised it and whispered, I love you, all the time. The stadium erupted again, but this time it was with comprehension and laughter. Kels grinned, his shoulders becoming lighter. With a wink at the camera, he strode down the tunnel, emerging as a triumphant hero with a timeless love tale. Taylor and Kels would have their private moment later that evening, out of the prying eyes. Though it was not quite what she had anticipated, the large gesture had only deepened their relationship. And the world, already in a state of frenzy, would have to bide its time for its happily ever after. The cheers of the supporters subsided into a soft murmur, as Travis Kels raised the MVP award for the Super Bowl. Cameras flashed, confetti showered down, but Travis's main focus was on the box containing Taylor Swift, who was sitting there looking like a vision in scarlet, cheering with his happy family. With a jog toward the platform, he held the microphone in his hand. There's someone very special I gotta thank tonight. He bellowed, emotion making his voice rough. Taylor, without your love and support, this victory would not have been possible. You're my inspiration, my best fan, and my cheerleader. He peered through the throng and saw her eyes full of tears, on the enormous screen. Every day, you motivate me to become a better man. Sweetheart, you are loved. The stadium gave way. With her makeup flawless, Taylor's hand shot to her mouth, causing tears to stream down her face. She felt a million different things at once. Pride in his proclamation, excitement at his victory, and icy fear of the ensuing media storm. Although they had discussed keeping their romance quiet, this was a big spotlight, on par with Taylor Swift's. Her face, smeared with tears, came into close focus. Social media took off. All platforms saw a dominance of number Kulslava Swift. When Taylor got to the locker room, her phone began ringing nonstop. Congratulations from loved ones mingled with sarcastic tweets analyzing her emotions and projecting their few Ignorant, Travis gave her a smothering hug. Tay, did you notice the expression on your face? Worthless. Ignorant of the storm he'd brewed, he smiled. Taylor withdrew and feigned a smile. Travis, it was amazing. Really. However, the weight of his statement in public landed on her chest. Instead of the glaring glare of the celebrity world, she preferred the normalcy of a quiet supper and a clandestine kiss beneath the moonlight. That evening, Taylor was on the balcony with her phone clenched in her palm, as the after-party erupted all around them. Sensing her discomfort, Travis walked up to her. With a worried brow, he said, You okay, Tay? Again, tears welled up. Travis, 
this, it's just a lot. It's overwhelming, all this attention. Travis put his palm to her cheek and gently wiped a tear from her eye. Hey, he said, that was reserved just for you. We, everything else is just background noise. Together, we can tackle it. A glimmer of optimism appeared in Taylor's beautiful brown eyes. Perhaps, just perhaps. His love could act as a barrier against the impending storm. Breathing deeply, she snuggled into his arms, finding comfort in the one place that seemed true. After the thrilling Super Bowl victory of the Kansas City Chiefs, the dust had hardly settled when Travis Kelce picked up the mick. As comrades whooped and showered each other with champagne, euphoria crackled in the air. Taylor Swift was positioned between Patrick Mahomes and his spouse, Brittany. They had maintained a very discreet relationship, a whirlwind romance that grew during the season. But tonight, in front of a global audience, Travis experienced an incredible wave of love. He said, Mick check, Mick check, briefly quieting the dressing area. Everyone looked at him, then at Taylor, who had a spark of fear in her eyes. First and foremost, Travis said in an impassioned voice, this victory belongs to Kansas City the greatest city on earth. But another person exists. He looked around the space once more, meeting Taylor's gaze. Her cheeks flushed, creating a lovely contrast with the glitter stuck to her hair. This season wouldn't have been the same without your love and support, Taylor, he said in a hushed voice. I am inspired by you every day. I know no stronger or more talented lady than you. And he knelt down and took out a tiny velvet box from his pocket. All in the room gasped at once. As colleagues fought for a better angle, cameras flashed and mayhem broke out. However, Travis, the shining ring in his palm, and his hopeful gaze, had become Taylor's entire universe. Her eyes filled with tears, making the scene hazy. This was not intended. Although they had discussed keeping things private, Travis's obvious fragility and the raucous applause of the crowd for her name were too much. She covered her mouth and let out a choking sob, tears streaming down her face. A flash of panic crossed Travis's face. Had he read things incorrectly? Tay, are you alright? With concern etched on his face, he extended his reach. Taylor was prodded toward Travis by Brittany, the wife of a teammate who has always been encouraging. With a faltering breath, Taylor extended her hand and brushed the velvet box with her shaking fingers. Her voice quivered, Travis, this is this is really amazing. However, perhaps. With a sniffle, she let out a weak giggle. Perhaps not on live TV. Travis's expression changed from one of relief to one of bashful smiles. He hadn't given this much thought. He laughed and snapped the box shut saying, right, perhaps not. Reaching for her hand, his contact gave her a reassuring warmth. How about a private celebration? Just the two of us? He whispered, leaning closer. Me and you. No cameras, no confetti. A sincere grin appeared despite Taylor's tears. That sounds ideal. After being stunned into stillness, the audience cheered once more. Travis knew this was the start of something very amazing, even though it wasn't the fairy tale proposal he had imagined. When he pulled Taylor into a close embrace, and the roar of the audience faded in.